Hello, welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics. Uh, we are still on the series and uh, integration, and in this episode, we'll be treating change of limit. In our previous episode, we were doing integration by substitution, and you can see all the examples that we've treated is on indefinite integral. Now, there are cases whereby you'll be having definite integrals whereby you also need to employ the change of what? Uh, uh, sub integration by what? Substitution. So you can see that when we do our integration by substitution, the x function changes to become a u function, meaning we substitute the function with what? u. Then in that same uh, integration, we change our dx now become a du. So you can see that in everything, we are changing the function x to become a function of what? u. But if you are doing definite integral, you can see that the bound or the limit of integration is based on what? x function. So the moment we change the x to become u, the dx to become du, it means our bound, which is the limit, the limit of a and b, must also be changed to what? Let's say AU and what? BU. That is where the change of limit comes in. So the moment I am changing the variable from X to U, then I should be prepared to change the limit also. But this is by choice. We can decide to solve it the long way after that, replace and continue. But we can also change the limit to make the calculation in a simple way. So Let's see how best we can do that. So let's see. So this we are going to have, let our u equals to the function under the root, which will be 4x plus 1, which we can easily differentiate. So our du dx is going to be the uh, differentiation of this will give us only what? 4. But our attention is on to find the dx. So this will imply that your dx will be equal to, don't forget the rest of our one here, this will multiply. So 4 will be the coefficient. So we divide by the coefficient to have our du over 1, 4, which is the same as 1 over 4 du. Alright, so now that we have our u, we have our dx, we are just supposed to substitute u and the x into this. But before we do that, we need to also change the limit. So let's label this as equation 1. So from our equation 1, when we can take the first limit, the lower limit, when x is equal to 0, from here, let's see. It will be u equals to 4, 0, plus 1. x is 0, so x will now be 0. And that simply means that this will be 0, then you have 1. Meaning, change of the limit. The lower limit for x is 0. The lower limit for u will be 1. Then, when x is now upper limit of 2, we can also say that from equation 1, u will be equal to 4x, which is not 2 plus 1. And that will give us 8 plus 1. That to be 9. So it means the upper limit is now going to be 9. Lower limit is going to be what? 1. So now let's substitute. So the integral of 1, that is from 1 to 9, of the root of all of these, which is now what? Going to be u times the x, which is now going to be 1 over for the u, which will be 1 over 4 the u. But we know that anytime there is a constant, the constant can go and multiply, or better still, it can even go out of the integral sign. Meaning, I can have 1 out of 4 integrals spanning from 1 to 9, the root of what? u the u. Now the root can be converted to the exponent of half. So 1 out of 4 integral spanning from 1 to 9, 
u exponent 1 over 2, then the u. So now here we perform our integration. We know we are going to add 1 to this and divide by the result. So that is going to be 1 over 2 plus 1. And 1 is also 2 over 2, which is still 1. The same denominator we add in numerators. That gives us what? 3 out of 2. It means I'll be dividing this by 3 out of 2 as well as the exponent. So I have 1 out of 4. This is going to be u exponent 3 out of four, 2. 3 out of 2 spanning from 1 and 1. 9. There is no constant yet because this is definite integral. You know this is a double division so these two goes up to multiply. So I have 1 out of 4 then 2 u exponent 3 out of 2 over 3 the limit of 1 to 9. So now here we don't need to replace u with its original function before using the limit. So you can see we can use the limit directly because the limit is on toward u. If you don't want to change the limit, it means after we got to this point, when we finish our integration, it means we have to change the value of this to become this and still maintain the limit 0 and 1, 2. So now we can substitute. So from here, I'll be having 1 out of 4 multiplying 2 u, which is now going to be 9. So 9 exponent 3 out of 2 all over 3 minus 2 u, which is now going to be what? 1, 3 out of 2 all over 3, still multiplying 1 out of 4. Now, we see that this is denominator of 2, which could also mean 1 out of 2 times 3. And 1 out of 2 as an exponent is a square root. Then this will be on this. So this is going to be 9 times 9 times what? 9. Then all this is going to have the square root, because this is the square root as a half. Then 3 is going to be the power of what? Uh, 9. And this will give us 81. Then we're going to have 9 times this will be 72. So from here, we are still going to have 1 out of 4 multiplying 2 root of 7 to 9 over 3 minus this is going to give us 1 times 2 will still be 2 out of 3. Then we have that. Now what do we do next? We can see that one, 2 out of 3, 2 out of 3 is a factor. So we can factorize that out. We have 1 out of 4 times 2 out of 3 multiplying the root of 7 to 9 minus 1. Because this will multiply this to give us this. This will multiply 1 to give us this back. So you can see a common factor. So we're left with 1 out of 6 multiplying the root of 7 to 9 minus 1 multiplying. So we know that the root of 7 to 9 is 27. So 1 out of 6 multiplying 27 minus 1. And this will be 26. So we're having 26 dividing what? 6. So this will be the integral value of what we are asked to integrate. We can still convert this to become decimal, 4 point, a certain number of decimal places. So this is one way of which we do integration by substitution when it is what? definite integral. We call it what change of limit. We can change the limit right away after finding our u and the x. Then we change the limit from the x function to the u function. Then we substitute. That is one way.
we can also do it without the change of the limit, as I said earlier on, by maintaining the U value in it. So when they get to this place, you will still be having the two and one as zero. So that when you finish with this, you change this to the original function of x, then you will substitute your limit into it. You will still arrive at the same answer. But this is one way, and this is the only way for change of what limit. Thank you for watching. Like and share if this video is educative. Bye.